Hello, we are going to see how to implement a list ADT. We are creating this list ADT so that someone else can use our list data structure, right? So that's that's the aim. So you should always keep this in mind. It's for someone else we are doing this. Now, if someone wants a list ADT, what are the some typical functions one would be interested in using in a list data structure? We need to note that out. So let me just list a few of them. So add to the front of the list. What else? Remove. So remove from the front. So let me say uh, length of the and for searching for an element. These are a few functions a list data structure should support. A little later we will think about a few more of such things. As we said, the user is not supposed to know about how the list data structure is being implemented, is implemented, okay. Uh, our, we should be presenting these functions to the user such that he should not be worried about what kind of data structure, what uh, internally how we are doing this. He should only look at the functions. That's it. Right. That, that's how we have to always think. Right. Now, how are we going to implement the list data structure? So, we will first let's try to implement this list using an array. Okay, and see what is an issue with it, and then we will see. Uh, we'll go and see uh, a, a different way. If I want to create a list data structure using an array, I have to first declare an array. And how big should the array be? That's the first question I have to address. So let me address, let me uh, say, I'm going to uh, allocate an array of size 10. Uh, let's say an array of size 100. So in, I initialize What is the issue now? What can we do if the list? So, as we said, uh, uh, this is the list is going to be used by. Um, it, it can. It, we are creating this list structure for others to use now. But I have now created an array of size hundred. That's that's a problem, right? Because people might be using it for uh, creating a list which is far far bigger than this. A person might be adding um, more elements, more than 100 elements and what, what, what should we do? Then we'll have to take care of it, uh, maybe we have to do other things to work with it. Uh, we have to probably create dynamically allocate memory etc. Right? So this is a, a little, uh, it's not enough to create a declare an array of size 100, that's not enough, you'll have to do more. So there is some work around here. So keep this in. So uh, we have to do some more work then uh, to ensure that the list can grow to as much uh, big as it wants. <coughs> right. So this is one issue here. Now the second thing is that let's say I have an array like this. Okay. So as we said, it's a it's an array of size hundred right now, and Initially, let's say some of these uh, numbers are filled. I'm going to write So the first initial few array locations are filled to 10, 30, 40 and a few more are filled but the last few things are empty. So this is how let's say the current array situation is. And now I want to insert an element. So the user is going to use called add friend. Let's uh, add friend. Let's say hundred. Okay. So add friend hundred. What would happen when hundred is going to be added? Now to implement, what is it you have to do? You will have to add hundred should come here, right? 100 should come here. So what does it mean? This means the entire array has to be shifted.
you agree that the array has to be shifted so that means if there were n elements if n elements in the array how many elements have to shift how many elements do you have to shift you have to shift n elements if n elements then n shifts are required okay that's is that clear so if n is like large <coughs> 1 million you have to do 1 million shifts to do this right this is even assuming uh, this i mean if the array is of size 100 uh, the, the 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 work is less okay if there is more work to be done there then um, that's going to involve more uh, that's going to take more time so this will this is going to say if n elements so this says that if n elements has to be inserted you have to at least do n shifts right and that is that is an issue in this scenario we want a system we want a, a, a list which works better than this okay which is going to be which we can be implemented better in both these uh, in, in for it it works better for both the conditions 1 and 2 do you also notice that if you have to remove an array element it's the same issue again if you have to remove this number two what is it you have to do you have to again shift so removal is also if there are n elements in the array again when you have to remove you have to shift n elements or n minus one elements have to be shifted so that's again so removal also is going to take a lot of time so both add and remove are going to take some time so you have to uh, if you are using an array data structure 